Okay, so we open with Andy being called into the conference room with her things. She ain't getting fired. They just begging her to take this heifer's case. And the shit don't make sense to me, but it's Tyler Perry, so why would it? Oh, now she telling the boss that she had an affair. Now she telling the boss that she had the affair with the man, but it wasn't such a long time ago. God, this scene is so poorly written. I just want you to do your job. I'm not threatening you. I'm asking you to do... <laughs> Although he was right, your heffin' ass did sign her, sign her when you knew you was fucking her husband, so you already are up for disbalment. Oh, Lord. So now we got the client offering her the ring saying, Here, it's yours anyway. And it's like, does she know? No, I don't know. I just may as well start paying now because I know this is going to cost me. Girl, so Andy gonna talk to the uh, private investigator so that way she can cover her own ass. She taking the case, cause it's sisters, and they ain't shit. So the Braxton hybrid goes to uh, the bank manager at work, and the sissy ain't fucking with her. I see why. And she telling her the shelter sissy came on to her last night. So she said, look, honey, it was just the weed. You ain't all that. But don't tell Karen. So Andy said, well, what did he say? And she said, well, you know, I hide behind my jokes and I'm a lonely old heifer. And Andy said, well, honey, that does sound like you. All right, we got Gary blowing up Andy's phone while she at the office. Oh, he apologizing for asking her to risk her career. Child, she ain't gonna keep that career more than five minutes anyway. Her career gives me Toya and Eugene's house. It will soon be repossessed by the state of Georgia Department of Revenue. Jesus, I wish there was something else on. I'm about to watch an old housewives reunion because this ain't shit. <laughs> So the guy, the hairdresser, went on the date with and called Andy to get a divorce. And she like, look, girl, I can only tell you what uh, he tells you. And she said, oh, now you're going to abide by the rules? Now you getting this other half of shit from both sides. But with my man, you can't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. I thought we were sisters. Well, again, it's that T-A-S. Because they ain't shit. Is my mic on? Camille got the fuck out of here so fast the second she saw it was sisters. Girl, they had his pants so tight he could barely get back to the office. <laughs> Tyler Perry, you may have the studios, but you also need to get a wardrobe department. Oh, child, this heifer didn't just uh, slip up and sleep with a friend. They was at airports on vacays. That's a cheating cheater. Yeah, I'd get the fuck on. Whoa, you gonna give her $1.8 million and $25,000 a month? Child, get that hairdresser out the way. I'ma fuck this one. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Dibs. Dibs. So they really have the settlement agreement all worked out, and he's just like, file it. And she like, child, let me tell you something. This gonna get in front of a judge, and that story gonna change, and what you were prepared to give and what you actually give may become two separate entities. So I suggest she get some representate. Okay, okay. He said, well, look, I'm gonna go get the heifer from around the corner, and we gonna sign this shit in front of you and get this party started. So Andy called the hairdresser and let her know, girl, he wants a divorce today. Today. It is 8.37 in the morning. At least this show could try to be more interesting. Because there ain't shit on. At the airport, we got uh, the odd couple, the Braxton hybrid and the shelter sissy. And he want to talk about last night. He tell her the same shit the next day. She don't know what to do. And she said, well, baby, if you was interested, you should have said something. Oh, he said I wasn't interested in who you were pretending to be. But once I got to know you, I saw you. Well, now, hold the hell on. How you gonna be like, oh, well, I ain't gonna call Karen because she ain't called me, so she don't feel about me how I feel about her. But now you're trying to get with the next heifer. If you still got feelings for her, like I said, T-A-S, they ain't shit.
the Braxton hybrid is still pushing him off on the friend. And it's like, well, child, didn't he just say, I wish you hadn't done that? And honestly, uh, the hairdresser half over it. She getting her ass a rich man ready to give away $1.8 million and $25,000 a month. I want to know, know what the fuck you do to make $50,000 a month to give away twenty five. dollars You're probably making $100,000 a month at that point after taxes. Child, the chat says he running game to stay his ass in that house. A homosexual, too. At the Cylon, the bank manager dropped by. She gonna get her twist touched up. Ah, I don't think that, um... So the bank manager is like, ooh, girl, you know where your man's staying? And she said, he ain't my man and I don't give a fuck. And she said, well, I'm jealous. Y'all have an on and off switch on your heart. No, they don't. It's called common motherfucking sense. If I can see, all right, I keep walking down this road, I'm gonna fall off a cliff. I'm turning that ass around. I don't care how primrose the path is. Ah, <laughs> the bank manager like, look, we need to have a girl's night out. Karen said, why? Because of those panties, those red panties, those buttons down the back, Miss Mary Mac panties. Panties, honey. Ooh, Lord, them panties, them panties, them panties. Ooh. A panty tee. She said, I just got so turned off when I saw them. Honey, red lace turns me off too. <laughs> no panties for me, no panties for you. Looks like a cheap 90s porn. Okay, uh, what are you going to ask him? Because he's already said he's not into men. What What is there to ask him? You going to ask him about why he had on them panties? Some things don't need explanation. A panty is a panty is a panty. Sometimes it's just a no. All right, so we back at Andy's office with um, the divorcing couple. Not the Chitete one, but the, well, actually the Chitete one, but not the adulterer, the one with the, um, the one with the white woman. Fawn says she don't want to sign this. Her name is Fawn. 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 F-A-W-N. Fawn. 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 It is too early for this. It is 8.50 in the morning. My eyes are just opening. They don't have the strength to roll just yet. Fawn. And she kind of looked like a fawn. She got a big ass deer nose. That's a snout. With no contour. But she want to try to fix her marriage. <laughs> in the words of Sheree, fix that face. <laughs> Aaron is in here in one of Zara's finest suits. <laughs> Just a snug. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Their wardrobe department needs work. Oh, Lord. Now Fawn says, you know, I stalked that uh, woman you was with. And I, asked to, and I asked her to give us six months. And she reluctantly agreed. Oh, shit. That was this morning? She went to her ass this morning. This is the same day. This is a long-ass day and ain't shit gone on. Oh, Tyler. I don't know how the fuck you made a billion dollars with this. You might have been scamming like Phaedra. You done really made a billion dollars with this. And we can see the halo of makeup around her head. I don't understand it. Oh, God. Now he tell her, oh, she went to see your friend. So now Fawn knows that Karen is Andy's friend. I wouldn't tell Fawn shit. She crazy. After all, her name is Fawn. Fawn. Now he's slamming the taper. Fawn signed the papers now! Now! <laughs> Pete lifted his head up looking at me. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, I am trying to wring what little life I can get out of this show. And it really... <laughs> oh, Lord, I tell you, I fuck Tyler Perry all days and always. 
and probably used to most of them anyway. Bussy wide is all outside. She's still begging for it. She's still begging for a chance to try, and he ain't giving her a how do you do. So he finally badges her into signing the shit, but I'm like, y'all on tape in a lawyer's office, that's giving me a duress tea. But she let her sign the shit anyway. Oh, but after she signed the shit, he said, I'll try to fix it. Well, Karen, I guess you lose again. Poor thing. Oh! He said, you'll see me when I can't remember that you fucked my friend Skip. Skip. You was a strumpet for a skip. Chow. <laughs> Fawn, you gonna be fawning over him forever. He ain't gonna give you no more dick. He done. Oh my God, he said. <laughs> he said, when I forget the semen stains on your black blouse. Well, Fawn, you need a new man and a new dry cleaner. Fawn and her big nose and open mouth just... She is giving you nostril and snout. Oh, Lord, now we got uh, panties walking in the bank to see... <laughs> the bank manager. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I was wondering when panties was going to pop up. So he says, ooh, I had a great time last night. And she was like, eh, I kind of wanted to get fucked. But you know how it is when two bottoms get together. I wasn't ready to pull out the double-sided dildo. <laughs> he said, well, uh, you weren't really giving me the go-ahead, miss. Just lay there. But she was so turned off by your panties. I mean, honestly, it was who was there for the penetrate her or you? If you're going to ask for a pegging, you got to ask for it. He said, I thought I gave you what you wanted. Mm-hmm. She ain't bring up the panties, though. Bring up the panty. Bring up the panty. You know we got them in blue. <laughs> Devil with a blue panty on. Now they have an argument about, was she pulling them up? Was she not? Girl. You didn't pull up for shit. You didn't pull shit up because once he pulled them pants down, you couldn't get your mind around pulling them panties down. Child, he said he got turned on by a woman. Woman. Do you buy it? It's Black Friday, honey. I ain't getting it on a special sale. I ain't getting it. Oh, God, he trying to fuck in the pisser. Then when she said, look, we can't do it in the pisser, it's a bank. He said, well, let's go out to the car. Car, cooch. Backseat, bussy. Mm. Girl, he said, oh, you going out with your friends? Well, come home tipsy. I'll take care of the rest. Child, that probably means it's going to be a purple panty night. Because he didn't already put on his red sexes. Okay, so now we're at the Cylon with Andy and Karen. Andy gonna tell Karen, I can tell you they're divorced. You need it. Well, I mean, they really are divorced. I think you needed to talk about that, uh, that stained shirt, though. Let her know what kind of heifers he's been dealing with. And the fact her name was Fawn. Fawn. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. She said, look, girl, whatever you do, don't cheat on him because it's going to be over. Although I'll say this, he cheated and she still gets $1.8 and 25000 a month. I don't have that now. <laughs> I ain't got half that now. I ain't got a third of that now. Although, honestly, I look at him, I wouldn't have cheated either. Ain't nowhere to go but down. 